So I have my Sherman Calliope's from Battlefront all painted and these are painted just like my uh, the rest of my Shermans. So I'll link that video below. And I decided to add some camo netting to these guys. Figure, you know, they're going to be in cover and trying to hide themselves. Um, now the only way I've seen to do camo netting before for 15mm armor is to use uh, epoxy putty and uh, lay out like a sausage tube and then poke a bunch of holes in it which is fine if you want to do rolled up camo but I came up with something else what I have is some a brand new product from Pegasus Hobbies this is a uh, camouflage netting and what you get is a big piece of this stuff now what this is is actually just surgical gauze um, however it's already been dyed so they have two different ones they have a green and they have a tan and uh, you can go out and buy your own surgical gauze and dye it in a vat with ink or something or paints but uh, stuff's only four bucks so I think this is a better way to go now to attach it I already got some pieces cut here so you can't just lay it down because it's not going to stick. Even with super glue, some of it's going to, you know, be sticking up and it's going to look terrible. So I came up with this idea. What you need is a somewhat thick mixture of. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I think I'm coming down with something. <coughs> My apologies for any future coughing. <coughs> what I have here is a mixture of um, a thick mixture of uh, white glue and water. And you need a paper towel and a pair of tweezers just to keep your fingers clean. So take uh, one of your small bits of cut netting and we're going to put it in the glue. And it's probably going to curl over. At least it does every time I do this. Yeah, it curl, loves to curl up. And then transfer it to your paper towel. And the reason for the paper towel is to uh, absorb the excess water glue so it's not dripping all over the tank. So you just leave it there for a couple seconds. And now we could apply it like this or we can try to unravel it a bit. doesn't unravel that easy but you know a little time and patience you can do it I'm trying to do this quicker because I don't want to bore you all right so there then all we have to do transfer it to the tank wherever we want to put it <coughs> try not to drag it all over the tank because you're going to leave white glue streaks all over the place which is what I'm doing right now unfortunately so let's get it in position it keeps wanting to stick my tweezers here I'll try wetting the tweezers see if that helps yeah that's better okay good And so there we go, there's our camel netting. Now we just have to let it dry. And here are some pieces I prepared earlier. So you can see when it dries, it's fairly stiff and it will hold its shape. Here's a rolled up one. Yeah, that's definitely sticky. So there you go. Let me do the rest of this tank and then we'll see the uh, finished results. So it's um, been a couple hours and it's um, it's all dry now and I am definitely coming down with the flu so just finish up the rest of this here um, I initially tried airbrushing uh, the mesh before cutting it up and didn't take paint too well it's just too thin so now that's dry on the uh, tank <clears throat> I'm going to uh, just dry brushing some this is actually green ochre but you know desert yellow something else on it just for a little bit of variety so it's not one solid shade of green obviously you want to be extremely 
careful at this stage. You don't want to paint the tank itself, just the uh, the netting. And then once I'm done with this, I'll gonna try experiment first. I'm gonna try to put a little bit of a wash on it and see how that takes. Since this is cotton and cotton absorbs liquid, I'm not sure how well that's going to work, but uh, with the glue mixed in, hopefully that'll stop it from absorbing the wash. We shall see. So, I was going to spray these with um, dull coat and put them on the little spinny turntable, but I'm rapidly getting sicker and sicker here, so I just want to finish this up and get this up for you guys. Uh, we're all done. Um, yeah, dry brush and wash works okay. Um, I would probably just dry brush a couple different colors on this rather than doing that. Uh, there's a little bit of glossiness here and there for where the glue dry, but the dull coat will take care of that. Um, a couple things. First of all, when you're dipping in the glue, I was using tweezers. You're, pro um, you're probably better using something wider to pull it in and out with. Um, because the tweezers were causing it to curl up. If you just actually just use your fingers, um, it'll keep it straighter as you pull it out. I was using two tweezers to keep it kind of stretched out you know, on the corners, which I realized was kind of stupid. You could just use your fingers and then wipe them off. Um, now, the whole point of camel netting, usually they put it on the tank and then chopped off branches and stuff and stuck it in the camel netting. You could definitely do that. Um, take bits of clump foliage or something. Uh, I'm gonna leave these bare, however. Um, I would put something, I don't like clump foliage, I would use something else more realistic, you know, dried leaves or what have you, but they, uh, those tend to be very delicate and they're gonna eventually just fall off. But uh, yeah, there you go, so there's uh, camo netting from surgical gauze, all done.